Maybe you just don't know this because you've never been a fat person, but I am so aware that the world does not revolve around me because I get nothing. The world that doesn't revolve around you, if you can't fit into given sizes, then the, tend, the trend isn't for you. Uh, someone wearing a 4X already can't cry about not sizing up. They are already sized up IRL. Damn. Damn, dude. The big problem that I see a lot of times with these people is that they tend to externalize all of their issues and put it on everybody else instead of like actually fixing their own problem, which would improve their situation drastically for them and everybody else around them. But they're always so quick to be like, well, I don't owe anybody anything. I don't owe anybody any help. I am doing this for myself. But then they'll be the people with kids, wives, husbands, family members that they have to take care of as if their body is not actually <laughs> negatively affecting all those people because they maybe need to be taken care of probably, especially people with kids. I do believe this person does have kids. But regardless, um, it is almost always going to be easier to take care of your own problem instead of like tell taking your problem and putting it upon somebody else. So I would always err on the side of doing it yourself. Um, there are certain times in life where there might be things that you have no control over and maybe there are systemic issues or maybe there are issues that you can't solve yourself, which is fine by the way. Those are things that we don't talk about um, here because they're not relevant. Um, if you're fat and you can't fit in a particular size, it's usually because you're too big. And most of the time, um, sizes are not usually meant for people of these sizes. The clothes are not really meant for the people of these sizes because it's very difficult for people of this size to even be buying clothes. There's a reason why most retailers don't sell clothes of that size because they don't sell. They just don't sell. There's a reason why uh, Old Navy, a few years back when they were selling plus sizes in stores, they stopped selling them because they said verbatim that it just wasn't selling. We, they weren't getting the revenue back that they put into the clothing brand. So it was just a detriment to keep those clothes on the shelf. So naturally, of course, they're not gonna sell the clothes. So I would always err on the side of do it yourself. I have to think about so many things that you have never had to think about. How do you know that though? This woman's projecting OD. And just because you've only, just because you've had to think about a whole bunch of things that I've never had to think about, doesn't mean I haven't thought about a whole bunch of things that you haven't thought about either. So like, what's the relevance on that shit? It doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck that you think about things that I don't think about. So what? I think about Dragon Ball Z all day and Star Wars stuff. See, you don't think about that. I have to think about so many things that you have never had to think about in your entire life. Give an example. I have to pre-plan my entire life like you would not even believe. I have to, because I cannot shop in a regular store, I have to, if any sort of event comes up in my life, a funeral, I have to like anticipate a funeral. Because Don't you have like a suit or something like that? Like maybe it's probably because well, I don't know what you wear as a woman when it comes to funerals. I guess dresses or something like that, but I think she's a lesbian, so I have no idea what you would wear as a lesbian to a funeral. But most of the time, when people... How many people in your life do you have where you have to go to funerals, bro? Um, maybe it's just me. I have a very small family, so I've never really been to a funeral before. Maybe when I was, like, really young, but... Usually people have like one suit for that particular occasion. Maybe you're just like so big or your body fluctuates in size so drastically that the suit or whatever you have in order to wear for a funeral doesn't fit you anymore. But usually people can rock a suit. It's, it's just a black suit with a white, you know, and maybe I don't know what you're wearing. But usually people wear the same shit every single time they go to a funeral because it's not exactly an occasion that you plan for, right? It's not like, oh, I, mean, I gotta look hot as fuck for the funeral. Nobody really cares. You're just wearing a black suit, something basic, something that's gonna be uh, re representable, something that's gonna be respectable and things such and so forth. What the hell are you even talking about, dude? You have to pre, you have to, go so what? Yes, I have to too. Everybody does. What are you talking about? If you don't have a suit, then it's gonna be harder to buy a suit. Yes, uh, obviously, yeah. Cause I can't just go to a store and pick out something that is black. I don't think many people can. Uh, it usually takes, it's, especially if you want a suit that actually fits you, most of the time you have to get it fitted. Most of the time you buy a suit, it doesn't fit right away. You have to go and like get it fitted or go to a tailor and ensure that he's got the right measurements or whatever the hell. So I don't even understand the point of this. I guess you just can't buy clothes in general, but it's such an extreme thing to be like, for a funeral, bro. Most people don't even have to go to the funeral. Most people are not really anticipating going to funerals. It would be better if you said something like going on a dinner date. That would be a lot better because dinner dates are more convenient and there are things that happen more often than people dying and you having to, to go to a funeral. Maybe it's just like you and your fat friends that are just dying at a consistent pace where you have to keep showing up at these funerals and it's more so like a dinner date to you. But most people, <laughs> we don't have to go to funerals like that. So uh, maybe it would have been better if you said like dinner dates 
or maybe going to the grocery store or like i don't know dude literally anything else would have been more convenient than a a, a, a funeral bro i can't just go to a store and pick out something that is black i if someone in my life is ill and i'm like they might die i have to order something damn bro can you imagine pre-ordering something just in case this person dies and again this doesn't actually help your point because guess what you still have to solve your own problem if you're if, if the entire idea here is that you are so fat that things do not fit you anymore and it's harder for you to buy clothes that doesn't actually help your case, given the fact that the other person in the comments literally said you should be the one that actually addresses your own problem instead of putting it upon everybody else. I understand that things are harder for you because you're fatter. I don't doubt that. But why aren't you, lo why aren't you losing weight? If anything, this point that you're making right now airs on my side because that would actually mean that you, if you lose weight, you would be able to get more clothes more frequently. It's just harder to make clothes for people of your size because your people don't really buy those clothes. And most of the time, they're not going to fit in general anyway. A week or two in advance. Yeah. Like, I have to be like, I hope they don't die because I don't have a freaking thing to wear. Crazy, I bro. Can you imagine saying, like, I hope they don't die, but not because I want them to live, but because I don't have a black suit. <laughs> That's crazy. Better order something in case somebody in my life dies yeah this is a bad point i don't know why she chose to pick this one this is this is the worst pill to ever die on ever if someone gets married i have to be like what are these cases and scenarios how many people in your life are getting married bro like how many i i'm friends with so many people and only one of them has gotten married okay i don't know if you know this but like the the the, the marriage rates have dropped off significantly in the last like two decades but anyway it doesn't matter these scenarios are so far-fetched they're so out of nowhere. Maybe it's because I'm a guy and we don't buy clothes in general. We don't even really take care of ourselves in general. Let's be honest here for a second, right? Most dudes don't even know how to wash themselves, um, let alone buying clothes. So maybe I just don't know. But most people I know are not really buying clothes like that. I guess like she's trying to find reasons to buy clothes. I'm not really sure. But so the, the reasons why you need plus size clothing is because funeral, wedding. Okay, th those are very, very particular cases. Um, again, just lose weight and you'll be able to find more clothes. Like, oh, somebody's getting married. Um, I have to order eight dresses. We don't want you at our wedding. We're good. Um, eight? Hold on. How many dresses? I have to be like, oh, somebody's getting married. Um, I have to order eight dresses just in case I have to return seven of them. And that's some fat ass shit, bro. Damn, bro. That's some big back shit. You are making these things bigger issues than they actually are. No pun intended. If you're going through all these problems, if you're having all these issues due to your weight, and somehow you have deduced that losing weight is never a viable solution, I think that it's your fault. I think personally, uh, and I think objectively as well, this is your own decision, and you're choosing to make your life harder. Literally, like, if you picked um if you were playing a video game and it said start game and it said choose difficulty you chose to put that slider all the way down at the very bottom on super veteran omega level difficulty and now you're complaining that the game is hard now you're complaining that you can't do certain things because you're fat then why are you fat go press the settings button go press options menu whatever it is scroll back up and put it on i don't know recruit or uh, put it on like uh average whatever bro there are many other difficulties that you can choose from, and it just seems like you don't want to choose any of them because you like being a victim. That's really what it seems like. Just lose weight and get better clothes. And like hope someone, one of them fits me because I can't go try one on. And we don't want you at our wedding in general. So you're fine. We don't, you look, I know you're just buying these clothes just to buy them. You're good. You're really good. Uh, just return them all. We don't even need... To be honest, though, bro, if I was like a company and the, the clothes came back and they were greased up because I know they're going to be greased up, I would be real upset. Um, if we were at like the return department and one of the Indonesian ladies, because let's be honest here for a second, most of the stuff that's being shipped out nowadays is not even from America, right? So it's probably from like Indonesia or some part of like Taiwan or India somewhere in Ghana. I don't fucking know, dude, bro. Regardless, they're, they're taking this stuff out and it's just like a... Oh, oh my God. What is this? Why is it so wet? Oh my. Oh, oh my God. It's greasy. Quick, bring the French fries. We can cook in this. We can cook in this grease. This is better than canola oil. I mean, I guess there are benefits to it. But I know for a fact that most of these issues, if not all of them, could be alleviated if you just chose to lose weight.
store because there are none for me to try on. Oh, you're so sad. You're so sad. I can't try on any clothes. I'm too fat to fit in any clothes. I, I can't make big decisions in my life because it's too much work for me. That's all you got to say. Just say that. Just say you don't want to put in the work. It's fine. It's okay. There are plenty of things that I don't want to do either. Um, and that's all right, right? But certain things that you have to do, you have to do. Otherwise, you're just literally booty washing your own self with a sweet, delicate BBC. It is what it is. The way you want to look at life is how big of a penis are you about to indulge in? Um, you can either take the small one, which is tolerable, or you could take the big giant one with the foreskin that's literally hanging down. So whatever one you want to, you could take. But it seems like you're choosing to take the biggest and brick this, brick this one. Um. If I travel somewhere, not only do I have to read policies because, you know, you're going to be offended if I encroach on you in the seat next yeah, to Yeah, why wouldn't I be offended by that? Like, why wouldn't I be offended if I sat down next to you and your gut or whatever, your leg or something like that was touching my shoulder or was touching my arm or something like that or like you were coming over on my seat? Do you not think that I have the right to be offended by that? What is the idea here? Like, I'm just, I'm just a weirdo or I'm like, I'm bad for thinking that you're the wrong one in that situation when you bought one seat and now I have to put up with the fact that you're literally encroaching on my seat. Uh, yeah, somehow I'm not the victim here. You're the victim because you have to put up with the fact that I don't like it, which is crazy. I don't even know how we get here. How the fuck do we make it so far on this like crazy identification spectrum where you're the victim in a position where I'm the victim? Okay, well, all right. Read policies, because, you know, you're going to be offended if I encroach on you in the seat next to me. But I have to make sure if I have a bag that gets checked that I also pack clothing with me. Again, because I can't shop in a store. Just lose weight. Uh, so that if my bag gets lost, because I can't buy things in a store, I have to pack clothes with me in case my luggage gets lost so that I have clothing so I can't, you know, wear the same clothing with me for a week straight so that I have something else to wear. Yeah, all these scenarios are incredibly niche, bro. So the scenarios we got so far are funeral, wedding, travel. It's very privileged, very privileged. You're going to very many weddings. Uh, you're going to m very many funerals, which means that you have a lot of friends, I'm guessing. Same thing with the weddings, too. You have a lot of friends and also traveling. It seems like you're a pretty privileged individual. Yeah, uh, I've only traveled traveled on a plane one time. I've only been to a wedding, never. And I've only ever been to one funeral, which is a good thing, by the way. But um, all these things considered, it, this is all just bullshit. Like, why are you going this hard about your victimization when you can literally drag yourself out of this pit that you've literally dug for yourself? Do some work and actually, and actually, like, dig yourself out. Things that you have literally never had to emotionally labor over in your entire life. So, what does that have to do with anything? Why are you projecting your insecurities on me? Why does it matter if I've never had to th think about these things? Why the fuck would I have to think about these things? Obviously, I'm not fat like you and I don't have to deal with all those issues that you have to deal with, but again, that doesn't even matter. Like, you don't have to think about any of the things that I have to think about, so what is even the point? Like, it's such a, what is even the point of this? Like, th this entire thought process that you had right here is meaningless. That makes no sense at all. Have you ever been to a doctor where- Yes. Your doctor looks at you and goes, it could be cancer, but we might not figure it out for a while. Have you, have you have a, had a doctor tell you that? Because nope. I've never had a doctor telling me that ever. That sounds like a very specific scenario. Maybe you can come up with one more general that most people can probably apply to that also is related to your... What the, why are you going so specific? Like, what, what, have I ever had a doctor that told me that they don't know if my cancer diagnosis is actually cancer and what? It's my weight? It's such a, it's such a specific, no, most people probably haven't. Literally, like, 99%, okay, whatever, bro. We might not figure it out for a while. Have you, have you have a, had a doctor tell you that? Because, you know, you've been to, like, 10 different specialists, but they don't take you seriously because you're fat have you ever had that happen to you because no because that's a very unique experience and most people can't relate to that that'd be like somebody going have you ever been stuck in a tree with a mountain lion and three eskimos at the bottom of the of the bottom of the tree trying to ha hack it down because they want to kill you i don't think so so get off your high horse of 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 morality okay and get down here with the right what are you fucking talking about it's such a specific scenario like it's 
No, no one has. No one. I, I'm surprised that you have. The story of Star Wars is more believable than that. Uh, but okay, whatever, bro. I mean, sure. I guess. I guess all doctors are fat phobic, and because they can't find out what is even the what. What does this even mean, though? Like, if we are to take what you said serious, what is that even supposed to mean? Like, I guess the doctor doesn't know because you're so fat and it's difficult to diagnose you with something because you're fat? I don't... Then lose weight. Why is this continuously being an issue for you? It's not impossible to lose weight. You can do it. I believe in you. I have. I don't care if that's happened to you, bro. That doesn't prove your point in any way. You still think I'm just crying? Yes. Literally, yes, all those points made no sense. They don't even they don't even help you in any way. About my weight? And you think that you did something here. Like I can see a smirk on your face as if you think you killed it. You ate, sis. No, you didn't. You're not her. You didn't do shit besides make yourself look stupid. Because you have no idea about the lived experience that fat people have. And you have no idea about the lived experience about thin people. It's great. It's so awesome. I don't have to worry about literally any of the issues that you have to worry about. I don't understand. Why does it matter if I've never had to deal with any of the lived experience of you? Like, I don't care. I don't, like, what does it have to do with anything, bro? If we're talking about, can we just be more general at least? Like, and also try not to talk about it from a place of superiority as if, like, you have some kind of, like, hidden ideas or knowledge as, as if nobody can relate to your experiences at all? Do you think we're all, like, incapable of it? What do you talk? Why are you even saying it like this, bro? and the emotional labor that we have to do on a daily basis. Yeah, like when, you're, when your family goes, hey, I'm like starting to get really old and I'm not gonna be able to like do certain stuff soon. And you have, you're, all, you're literally more disabled than me because of your weight. Uh, so how the hell are you gonna take care of me? Like, I'm, what am I gonna have to do? Like, am I gonna have to hire a guy? Um, you can't help me like take care of my, what about like the kids when like the kids are like having problems and you just literally can't get off the couch because you're just too big. Like you do understand that that would be way more emotional. All right, whatever, bro. Go ahead, keep virtue signaling about how terrible your life is and complaining about it even though literally all these problems can be alleviated by things that you can do yourself that fat people have and the emotional labor that we have to do on a daily basis do you think that people choose this do you i think that people choose this passively i don't think they're open i don't think they're going out of their way to choose it like they're not writing it down like become fat have massive life problems like nobody's saying that out loud like nobody's going i'm gonna be fat so i can have all these problems nobody's doing that most people what they're doing is they're slowly but surely seeing the weight accumulate on their body and they're slowly but surely seeing that that's causing more and more problems and they're just kind of living with it so they are making that decision just passively you understand like in the same way that if you had a cut on your arm and it kept getting worse but you never went to the doctor to get it addressed you're you're passively making it worse yes that is a fact by doing nothing, you are consenting to it. That's a fact. In this scenario, obviously, you know, in the other scenarios, it's not the same. But you know what I'm saying? In this scenario, you're doing, you're not doing anything about it. So yes, it is. Yeah. Anyway. Do you think that people choose to live this life? Yes. Or do you think that, you know, there are outside factors that... No, I think that the outside factors are going in your mouth. Uh, ...have an impact on people's weight. You didn't say anything of value at all. That entire video made you look dumber. I hope you have the day you deserve. Yeah, and you smirking like you said something of value, but everything you said was literally meaningless, so. I felt it was appropriate to... In reality, nobody controls how you feel. You control your own feelings. If it is actually bothered, if it actually bothered people that are plus size, they can change how much they weigh, and I'm plus size myself, but if you don't... Okay, I'm guessing it was like a part two to that. Sit on the toilet while I answer this, because this is a shitty take. I think it's a pretty good take. Um, if you're having problems with your weight and you feel like it's negatively affecting you, then you can just not be fat, I guess. That's a good take. That's a really hashtag based take, bro. So it's our responsibility to change our weight, yes. but it's not the responsibility of people who work in healthcare to not post things that demonize and degrade fat people on the like like what though like don't be fat it's bad for you diabetes can negatively affect your health high blood pressure is a negative thing that's typically associated with people that are plus size or bigger people like what exactly is a healthcare system like posting about in that you determine to be bad or like discriminatory this person is kind of an asshole huh like every this person thinks that they are really like doing something crazy here but all they ever end up doing is just making themselves look more dumb and they have that stupid look on their faces if they're saying anything of value at all post things that demonize and degrade fat people on the internet yeah well like here's the thing right 
what somebody posts on the internet is up to what that person's posting on the internet, right? I can't control what that person's doing, with the exception of TOS, of course. Um, but I don't even necessarily, I don't control that. It's the whatever company or organization or whatever site that has those rules in place. So I don't, like, what can I do about it? Nothing. I guess I could disagree with it. But uh, that doesn't mean anything because that's not even the objective of the point. The point is, like, you can lose weight and you could be in a better, healthier mindset. And instead of looking at the actual point that that person made, you instead decided to go on this whole rant about what the medical system is tweeting out like what are you even talking why does it have to do with anything about you losing weight why does everything have to be about what other people are doing and not what you're doing is that demonize and degrade fat people on the internet see how anti-fatness is quite literally always the root of the problem no you didn't say anything that would even deduce fat I, you didn't even give an example you just said that somewhere somewhere out there a fat person or like a, a, a medical person said it's not good to be fat. I, what are you even talking about? What does this have to do with anything? What are we, we're talking about you losing weight. What is the medic? What is a random doctor tweeting something out about being fat? Not good. Somehow. Like, what are you talking about? What does that have to do with anti-fat bias? You're blaming the fat person. And this is the problem. Like, because these people are so forthcoming with their stupidity. They lose so much people because most people that when they watch this are gonna go, what the fuck is this person even talking about? This has no relevance at all. I almost can't even believe this person is making this claim because it's so far off the beaten realm of reality that like I can believe Narnia over this person's quotes and, and the way that they're phrasing reality. It makes no sense. See how anti-fatness is quite literally always the root of the problem. You're blaming the fat person and not blaming the person who's being fucking terrible on the internet uh you're the you're the person being terrible on the internet like you are the one posting as well you do realize that right and also you're taking away all agency you're taking away all your own agency and all the agency of anybody else that has the ability to lose weight which is literally 99 percent of every fat person out there so when you say it's not my fault that i'm fat or you're literally blaming the fact that you're fat and you suffer from the illnesses of being fat on everybody else with the exception of yourself all you're doing is making your life harder and you're also taking away the agency and the accountability of yourself you're literally you're quite literally making your life harder and you're blaming everybody else for your own decision because you are incapable of making your own you're incapable of actually taking accountability you're dumb. This person also goes on to say that we're supposed to have enough confidence to go into the doctor anyway. Because, you know, it's not the doctor's fault if they fat shame us or misdiagnose us. Sometimes it's not their fault that they misdiagnose you. It, things happen, okay? Uh, it, there are times and scenarios where misdiagnosis happens, and it's, it is what it is. Like, it, uh, it commonly happens, okay? And by the way, being fat phobic as a doctor, you think this guy going to medical school for eight to nine years is just fat phobic because he's fat phobic? Or maybe he was learnt that it's not a good thing to be fat? Like, maybe he did research over that eight to nine year stretch, and however many years he was practicing medicine, to deduce that maybe being fat is not good like why do we always go to this guy's bias instead of understanding that this guy pretty much learned that being fat is not a good thing why why would you suspect that everybody is just biased on you like what do you you're not special it's not about you he's he's talking about that with everybody or don't take our concern seriously just because we're fat it's not their fault if they completely treat us like shit and we don't want to go to the doctor anymore it's your fault if you don't want to go to the doctor. And I would just love to know what you mean by treat you like shit. Like if the doctor is telling you that you need to lose weight because it's seriously affecting you medically and you determine that to be offensive or like discriminatory or like bullying or something like that, then you're just stupid. Like, I'm sorry that you can't handle the truth. Hashtag handle the truth. Hashtag get with it, bro. But you need to uh, – that's your decision. Your decision is to not go to the – like, what am I even supposed to say to that? The doctor said something mean to me. What did the doctor say that was mean to you? Well, he told me that I was fat, and he also said that it was really not good, so that was mean. So that means I'm not going to go to the doctor anymore. Okay, well, I guess that's one less patient for him because, like, that means you're pretty much just going to die early because if you're not going to the doctor to solve your own problems, I'm sorry the doctor told you something you don't want to hear, but he probably told you something you didn't want to hear that was probably true. So, all right, whatever after having that experience over and over and over again throughout our lives and we become literally traumatized are we actually trying to tell people to not go to the doc like are you actually trying to forgive your are you actually trying to forgive yourself for not going to the doctor because the doctor told you that being fat is not good is that what we're doing wow
Yeah, no, you're good. You're a very sane individual. You're definitely... No, 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 no. You got that. You totally got that, bro. Definitely a good reason. I'm glad this justification exists. I'm so happy that you somehow managed to convince yourself that not going to the doctor is the optimal thing because even though you're suffering from medical conditions and health problems that may or may not be attributed to your obesity, you're just not going to go because you know the doctor is going to say that you're fat and that's a problem, which it is. So I don't even know why you would even get... That's like... It's like going to the bowling alley and being upset that there are round balls that you have to throw down wooden alleys. Uh, why are you here if you weren't expecting to play bowling things? Like, why? What do you? Why? Why are you here? Why did you go to the doctor's office if you weren't expecting the doctor to talk about your weight being bad? From having that experience so often at the doctor. It's a doctor. He's supposed to tell you. We're supposed to just have the confidence to just. Yes, you're supposed to have the confidence. You're an adult. You're, you're, there are going to be things in your life that you don't want to do, but you're going to have to do those things. I understand that you're a child, mentally speaking, but you have to grow up, okay? It's put on the big boy pants, go to the doctor, you have problems. Just keep going back and yes. do it over and over again. Yes, Cause that is the entire point of going to the doctor. You're going to have to solve your problems. You're probably going to have to go back several times. Again, that Especially if you're fat. That's our problem. Because we're the fat person. Yes. Y'all really can't get over yourselves and realize that anti-fat bias is always the root of the problem. So you somehow managed to put yourself in a box of never growing or never doing anything to help yourself. Never actually taking accountability because you've convinced yourself that no matter what you do, you're always going to be held down by the big, giant, fat, phobic hand of the medical industry. So you're just fucked then, if that's the case. Like, you, you're you literally just convinced yourself that you, there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, GG, good game. You did it. You, you actually did it. You actually put yourself in a realm of never taking care of yourself anyway because you've externalized your problem to such a degree that you literally cannot see any of your own problems as things that you can fix. Good job. Stop blaming fat people. I'm blaming you. And you just so happen to be fat. Take accountability as an individual instead of blaming all your problems on everyone else. First of all, how dare I care about the needs of other humans that- That's not hypothetical. That's true. There are people bigger than 6X. Every, should every store keep the abundance of 7 to 9X? Where is the limit? Where are the companies? It's a fact. It's a fact. Most of these companies don't make plus size clothing or at least they don't keep them in the stores because they don't sell in the stores. Most fat people are not getting up and walking in stores, especially at these sizes. So this is a fact. That are larger than me. And how dare I care about the needs of other humans that are larger than me and don't have access to clothing. No, you are. It's fine for you to care about those people's needs, but there are bigger fishes to fry. You're not actually focusing on the real problem, which is that if you actually have a problem not finding clothes in stores, instead of attacking the companies or whatever thinking that's going to do anything at all you should instead be looking at the individual and seeing what they can do it's almost never a good idea to externalize your again it's it's it's, it's a continuous externalization factor here um uh, if somebody has oftentimes when people have money problems right when people don't have enough financial uh, they don't have enough money I see a lot of poor people that always have the newest iPhone, that always have the most apps. So they've got Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu. They got everything, okay? Uh, they always have, like I said, the new iPhone. They're always eating Uber Eats, DoorDash consistently, dude. They're spending money that they don't have. They're going into debt for fast food, right? And they always tell me, David, I don't have any money. I don't have any money at all. Uh, the government should in place a, a mandatory minimum allowance for everybody. Should the government do that or should you just, like, stop using Hulu? Should you like stop eating out? Uh, should you stop buying the newest iPhone? Should you get off a contract to buy a phone that you can afford? Can you actually live within your means and actually spend the money that you know that you have to spend instead of spending all the money and going into debt? That's almost always gonna be the problem that you have to address and it's almost always gonna be the individual's problem. Sure, there might be things that the government can do or statewide entities can do or even in this space, uh, private companies can do as well. Of sure, of course, but it's always going to be more difficult 
to get these big systemic changes to be in place than it is for you to actually make the changes yourself that ultimately are probably the actual problem instead of just blaming all your problems on everybody else. That is always going to be the solution. So if your friend came to you and you saw all those problems financially and you and you would you prescribe that person's solution as going to the government and marching on Capitol Hill and asking Congress to make a minimum monthly allowance for no you wouldn't do that you would tell that person to stop spending all their money on fast food and takeaways and you know all this other stuff that's what you would do in the same situation here if your friend is not able to find clothes or whatever because they're so fat the solution isn't to ask big companies and corporations to have clothes which is infeasible to put in shops the solution is to tell your friend to lose weight it's like how dare they want a basic human need and like not run around naked? But this gives me a perfect opportunity to talk about my favorite sizing chart ever, which is universal standard. So universal standard bases their size chart off of the average US woman, which if you don't know, which a lot of you don't, the average US woman is plus size. Not a good thing, by the way. We got to get those numbers way down. Oh, huh, crazy. 70% of women in America are a size 16. And actually, that statistic is an old statistic that was done pre-pandemic. And we actually think it's larger. So, you Which is not a good thing, by the way. I think most of the time when it comes down to that is because women usually don't, eat to, don't need to eat as much as men do. So because women don't need to eat as much as men and our portion sizes here in America are literally abhorrent. They're massive and they're ginormous. Uh, a lot of I'm guessing a lot of women are eating a lot of food and men are also eating a lot of food But men usually have a little bit more space to fill men tend to be a little bit more anabolic They usually have more muscle mass So they have more room to fill up as well women don't usually have those things. So if a woman eats the same amount as a man uh, As that man ate then odds are that woman's gonna gain more weight in comparison to that man if that makes any sense That's just the headcanon that I'm working with universal standard let me know if I'm wrong, by the way. Their medium, because medium should be based on the average, right? They have their medium set at an 1820, which we think is probably the average right now. So they set their medium as the average, 1820, and then they go sizes up to a 4X from there, and then sizes down to a 4X small from there, which is just logic like i don't know if it's the autism and this like tickles my autism brain but it makes the most sense to me so again by logic if the average u.s woman is like a 16 18 and we carry down to a size zero why would we not carry the same amount of sizes above that as because they don't shop that many stores try to do that and it turns out the people that are at those sizes don't go in and buy the clothes as well because if we're and also most of those clothes don't actually fit you per size so like if you were a size 4x in the pants that doesn't mean you're going to be a size 4x in the shirt so it's going to be harder to fit you and build clothes across all spectrums of that particular size because everybody at that size like if you're like 300 or 400 pounds there's no guarantee that your size at the top like your top end size is not going to it's just not going to fit across the board if i'm a small and there's another guy that's a small Odds are we're going to fit the same shirt because we follow the basic outline of how a shirt works. But if you're like 400 pounds, your gut is going to be maybe bigger. Maybe your thighs are bigger. Maybe you hold your, all your weight in your gut. I don't know. But the point I'm making is if you buy a, like, a fifth, uh, like a 5 or 6X shirt, that's not a guarantee that's going to fit you because your gut actually might be way bigger than that. But that's just because you're, you know, like the way your fat is distributed. You're carrying all those sizes below the average. Why not carry all those sizes above? They don't sell. So I have always since like i don't know 2020 2021 said on the internet i support brands carrying up to a size five to six x i support i support brands giving me free free money all the time that's what i support actually that's what i support and you know what i think that's a pretty valiant uh effort i think that we should be doing that more often i would love it uh -huh. i would really love it you see how stupid that sounds do i just sit here and complain no, I don't. Yeah, that's exactly what you do. Literally every single one of your videos is you complaining about stuff. I have actually helped assist a bunch of brands extend their sizing. I have done wear tests for brands. I have educated brands on how they can extend their sizing. I actually put in the work to make it feasible for brands to actually like 
put this into practice. She's not doing anything. Just because you tweeted out a few brands and told them that the sizes are not accurate, or just because you modeled a few things for a few different brands doesn't mean you made any reasonable effect at all. Like, I guess, I get what you're saying, but it's also so dumb. That'd be like me saying like, I contribute to Star Wars and how successful it is because I spent like $200 on Star Wars toys. I guess, but that's not, that's not exactly by any metric we're gonna judge. Like, that's so dumb. So this logic of like, there's always gonna be like, where does it stop? No, what we should be doing is like, doing the most for the most amount of people that we can. We try to, but most of the time that doesn't work because if you try to sell these people clothes in store and it turns out they don't shop for these clothes in store and or they don't buy these clothes in store, then why would we keep them on the shelves? And for the record, there are brands out there that do offer custom sizing for those of us who like do fall outside of that. Apparently, if you talk about them, they will show up in your comments. Let me remind everyone of a video that you posted last year after you went on a weight loss journey. I'm gonna say something controversial and I don't care. I don't care how trendy or cute or fun it seems to be fat. Don't let that shit fuck with your head. Don't let the idea that, oh, I could catch a dick no matter how big I am, cause you to forget about your health. When have you ever heard anyone in the fat community say, don't care about your health, your health doesn't matter? They're not saying it, but they're also saying it passively again. Just because you're not saying the exact words doesn't mean those words are being said. If it looks like a duck, it walks like a duck, and it quacks like a duck, it's probably a duck. So if you're saying that you need to say, say those exact words, me as a fat person, verbatim, you need to say this. I, as a fat person, do not think you should care about your health. Of course, nobody is saying that. But what you're actually saying with nonverbal communication, just passively existing, as a fat person making these videos online, you are promoting that. That's 100% what you're promoting. You're promoting a lifestyle that is 100% unhealthy. And you're telling people instead of focusing on efforts that they can do in order to improve their situation, which would be the be all end all, you instead choose to focus on things that cannot help them, such as like systemic change or anything like that. It's not viable. You're literally hurting these people. When? And again, I hate when people do this shit because it's like, I have to, so it has to be exactly those words for this shit to apply. No, it doesn't. You're stupid. Because the only thing I have ever heard people say is that looking at a person cannot tell you anything about their health. Yeah, that's bullshit. I, I, you don't even believe that. You literally don't even believe that. If you see a guy walking down the street and his arm is missing, would you, would you think that he's not, would you think that he's fine? Like, would you think, you would just, you would never, you would have no way to determine anything about that guy, right? Obviously not. That doesn't make any sense. You can determine a lot based off of somebody's physical appearance. Which is true. No, it's not. And on my platform, I have always said, get your preventative health screenings. You literally said in the other video that you're afraid to go to the doctor because the doctor makes you scared because he might tell you something that you don't want to hear. What are you talking about? You literally don't even make sense right now. That's not even what you said in the other video. Because that is something a lot of grown adults don't do. Skinny or fat. Including you. You don't go to the doctor. You said it yourself. And a lot of that goes into like access to healthcare and a lot of other nuanced things that I don't have time to discuss. Right. I Because that all those things will like hurt your case, right? I wanted to include more of your video, but quite honestly, I couldn't sit here and listen to the whole thing because a lot of it was nonsense. True, 100%. I love it when people do this, dude. Like they don't actually watch the whole video because they know if they do or they try to debunk it, they can't because most of the logic makes perfect sense. You know what I'm talking about? Same thing happened with Samira. Same thing happened to that one girl that tried to uh, sue me or whatever the hell. They don't actually listen to the points of the video. They try to, they just like skim through it. They find like one or two segments where they catch you saying something that may be not the best, right? Take it out of context and things like that. And then they go, this person is bad. And it's like, well, well why didn't you focus on the things that I actually said? Like, the, you know, the video is an hour long. I get it. It might be a little bit hard to watch through. But uh, in this case, it's not even that. This vi I believe on TikTok, like three minutes, you couldn't even be bothered to watch three minutes. I'm literally watching like 45 minutes of your shit just to get this video together. So like, you know, do other people the common courtesy. I understand that these videos might be longer, but uh, at least, I don't know, try to show that you have some attention span at least. I don't know, dude. Because you go on to talk about how you are a pioneer and you work with Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova only goes up to a 3X and a small 3X, not yeah. a true 3X. Right. Yeah. So she's just not doing the work that you're doing, obviously, because you're modeling for big companies, right? And you've, you've, you've actually changed the industry, right? She, she hasn't, though. She hasn't. When she's a model for Fashion Nova and she's trying to lose weight. Obviously, she hasn't done any work for it. But you, on the other hand, definitely. 
So, like, that wasn't even a size-inclusive line. There's true, 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 true. Tell us about your size-inclusive lines that you've done, right? As if that means anything at all. Like, I don't even understand what this point even proves. You're really trying to debunk her claims that are probably correct because she worked for a company that doesn't have the most size-exclusive? Like, how far do we have to go on this arbitrary line that you're drawing, bro? Like, why the fuck are you going that far to try to prove a point? You're literally dumb. Still not size-inclusive. So as far as community- That's like somebody saying like, dude, you're literally light-skinned. You're not black enough to have this opinion. Like, <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Maybe you helped mid-sized people at most. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I love it, dude. Size on size discrimination, dude. You're not fat enough to have this opinion. That's literally exactly what I just said. You're not black enough to have this. You're not gay enough to tell me how much- You know what I'm saying? It's just, that's what it is. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not enough minority to have this opinion. Oh, oh. I love it. You're doing, you're doing good. That's a great claim right there. So like, yes, progressive for like the 2000s, but progressive for 2024? Right. No. Yeah, totally, dude. You're, to you know, the hero we need, not the one we deserve, right? But this is my issue with influencers who built their whole community off of plus size people, lose a bunch of weight, and then rather than still fighting for the plus size community and still educating and still remembering where they came from and still pushing for inclusivity and still pushing for plus size people to be accepted and still pushing for fat liberation, they switch up the content and go, hey, fat people, you're all wrong. When did you hear her say that, though? You should be doing the same stuff that I'm doing. Because right. If, especially if it's diet and exercise, right? Because apparently everything that I've been doing for the past however many years is just complete bullshit. Like, do you all hear yourselves? Are you are you talking about yourself right now? Because everything you just said was like literal hogwash. You literally just tried to tell her that she's not fat enough to have an opinion. You literally said she wasn't doing enough for the plus size community, but you're doing a lot apparently. How, what makes your opinion way more valuable than hers? How can you just dismiss her opinion because she hasn't done enough for the plus size community and then be upset that... Because she hasn't done enough for the plus size community when she literally is no longer, like, vouching for it. What the hell are you even talking about? Like, why are you going this far to try to prove a point that doesn't, you, you don't, the point that you're making literally is not even centered in reality. Okay, whatever, bro. <laughs> the cognitive dissonance is. I'm gonna, I'm about to bust. I'm, I'm, I'm about to bust. I'm about to bust. The cognitive dissonance? You're walking cognitive dissonance. You have literally contradicted yourself in this video like four different times, at least. And you're sitting here trying to proclaim that you are like the wise wordedness of, of the plus size community when you don't, you, you don't do anything. You're just sitting there literally telling people not to go to the doctor because you can't fit. And the doctor's gonna tell you that you have problems. Like, It's just insane. Yeah. You have become the people that have been harassing you online for years. And that's not a good thing. Here's why it's not a personal problem. If I'm over here existing, being fat, and- You're not, ex okay, can we just take a second? You're not existing being fat, okay? You're making videos on the internet about being fat. That's different. If somebody was just existing while being fat, that would be like a person just walking down the street, minding their own business, not doing anything other than maybe going to work or maybe going to the supermarket or maybe just living their life. You, on the other hand, you're not doing that. You're making videos on the internet about this particular cause. So quite naturally, that is going to mean that you're not just existing. You're doing a whole lot of other things and you're people are obliging you by responding to it. So don't sit there and say like, oh, I'm just a random person on the internet. Don't say it, don't, don't trust anything I say. No, no, no. Stand by your words, stand on your business, say it with your fucking chest, okay? Rep what you say, reap what you sow, bro. Don't be a pussy and try to act like you know, you're not doing anything. You're doing a lot. Not a personal problem. If I'm over here existing, being fat, and literally just like made myself some food and I'm eating dinner, I don't deserve to be harassed. Why are you putting these videos out if you don't want people to comment? I don't deserve to be degraded. You can't put videos out on the internet and expect people to not respond to them. That's just what it is, dude. Put down, uh -huh. treated as less than, treated as subhuman. She's such a victim, bro. She's such a fucking victim, bro. She could talk a mean game when she thinks she knows what she's talking about when she obviously doesn't. But then she also plays the victim card even when she does that. And then when she's playing a victim card, she doubles down on the victim card. Like, she's such a victim. Just because I'm fat. I know that that video was more so about, like, flights and the issue of, like, buying an extra seat. But my message behind that was... 
Isn't it crazy how thin creators are treated when they talk about the same subject versus plus size creators talking about the same thing? And the common denominator is you all think that we deserve to be treated like shit just because we live in larger bodies. I don't think you deserve to be treated like shit, but you can't expect that you're going to do something and not expect there to be problems as a counter to that. Like if you drive down the street and you hit a whole bunch of people and kill them, do you not expect to go to jail? In the same way that if you're fat and you have a whole and you gain a lot of weight from eating a lot of food, do you not expect that there are going to be complications to that? Did you not expect that chairs are not going to fit you? Did you not expect that there are going to be problems with seat capacity? Like, obviously, right? It's the same thing there, cause and effect. So it's not that I want you to be treated like shit. It just so happens that the way that you're being treated because of the way that you gained that weight so quickly determines that you're going to be treated like shit, but not for anybody's fault besides your own. That's not a personal problem of mine. Yes, it is. That's a personal problem of yours. Right. I'm done with this person. Literally no accountability. Can take zero accountability. They can't even look at themselves in the mirror and say, is there anything I can do? No, there's nothing they can do. They're literally perfect, apparently. Everybody else has to change for them. And it's that easy, by the way. It's that easy. Careful, though, by the way. Um, if you ever see somebody that's externalizing all their problems, that's easy for somebody to look at all their problems and go, it's somebody else. That's the easy thing. It takes a big person, no pun intended. It takes a adult. If it, ta it takes a responsible person to actually acknowledge what they can do to solve their problem. Now, not everything is something that you can solve, but for the most part, there's a lot of things that you could do to improve your circumstance. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. Um, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. Uh, by the way, if you made it this far in the video and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in blue. I'm blue. I'm in need of a guy. I'm in need of a guy. I'm in... It kind of sounds like that, doesn't it? I'm in need of a guy. Dabba doo dabba die. Sounds like I'm in need of a guy. I bet now, whenever you sing that song, that's how you're going to sing it. I'm in need of a guy. Or I'm in love with a guy. Or maybe some combination of that. Doesn't matter. You're beautiful, though, by the way. I really like you today. You smell great. You are great. You smell and look like a good-looking, awesome person. And I love that about you. I love your responsibility. I love that you're taking care of yourself now. I love that you're actually acknowledging problems that you have. And you're deducing that there are issues. And that's okay. Because you're going to solve them, you're going to work on them, you're going to improve your life. And because that's going to be something that you improve, everybody else's life around you is going to improve as a complication of that, which is a good complication. Good job on taking care of yourself. Thumbs up. Anyway, socials will be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.